Hey everybody, Teresa Cantley here. I am a business and brand strategist. And in case you don't know who I am, in case you're new to my channel, new to my blog, um, I am a business, like I said, I'm a business and brand strategist. And what I do is I help small business owners, typically people who have physical products, but I really, I, I help anybody, um, but I help them to really look inside their business, to really start building their business from the inside out and their brand from the inside out so that they can, we can put together a strategy that they can grow and scale their business as well as build a meaningful and impactful brand to move them forward. So today we're talking about all about passion, putting passion behind what you do. And so often as entrepreneurs and business owners, people that I work with, the first thing that they that they say is when I say, what is your goal for your business or what is your business about? The first thing they say is, I wanna make money. Well, guess what? Everybody wants to make money. We all know that. But what is the intention behind your business? And when we have intention and we can, we can be intentional about what we're doing, we can put passion behind what we're doing. And the key is when we do this is to, to do this in advance before we're doing any kind of an activity, meeting, you know, we're, we're going to do, we're going to give a presentation or we're putting a marketing campaign together. If we can take and really fully connect to whatever that intention is behind our business and behind what we're doing in our business, if we can do that in advance and say to ourselves, we are going to show up in this moment. We are going to bring the joy. We are grateful for where we are and what we're doing today. And our, our goal and our intention is just to inspire people. If we can do that in advance of doing the activity, even if you're kind of dreading it, it makes it so much easier because the intention behind it is positive. The intention behind it is right. And the intention behind it is all about helping someone else do something or it's all about really connecting and aligning with what our business is about in the first place. And that's how we're able to bring passion to what we do. And if we can have that right intention in advance, sometimes things don't always go the way that we want them to go and you know, mistakes happen or things happen, technical glitches, whatever. But if we have that, if we set that right intention in advance, Guess what? When things don't go our, when things don't go the way that we want them to or things don't go the way that that we thought they were going to go, it makes it so much easier to just go with the flow and keep moving and keep bringing that passion. And a lot of times it helps us to see if a mistake happens, it helps us to actually see the lesson behind it or it helps us to see maybe something positive through the whole experience. And it also helps us to handle the situation better. You know, especially if you're meeting with somebody and the meeting doesn't go the way that it, that you thought it was going to go or you're meeting with somebody difficult, if you can bring that passion and that right intention in advance before you even get to that meeting. Things will go so much smoother. You'll draw more positive energy to you and it's, the outcome is going to turn out much better than what you thought. So in business, it's not just about making money. Of course, everybody wants to make money. It's about being intentional with whatever it is that we're doing in every moment that we're doing it. And the more we can do that, the more we can bring the passion into our business and ultimately be successful. The one thing, the one little secret um, that kind of goes with this whole thing is to stay in alignment with whatever it is that your business is doing and realize you're not always going to be everybody's cup of tea and that's totally totally, totally, totally okay. And what that means is you don't have to say yes to everything. You don't have to say yes to all opportunities and people. You don't have to be everywhere to everyone all the time. So if you can stay in alignment with yourself and learn to say no, then guess what? You're gonna be doing things that you wanna do. Not everybody's gonna be in a good mood every day. So when you're gonna have a meeting with somebody, yes, it could be a meeting that you wanna have, just with somebody who's in a little bit of a cranky, a cranky mood. But if you're bringing the right intention and you're bringing that passion and you're bringing that energy, things are going to go well. Think people are gonna show up the way that you want them to show up. So key lessons here, be intentional in your business and bring 
always bring the passion and always bring the energy. It's not just solely about making money. And the more we chase that, the further away, I mean, in my experience, the further away it goes. But the more we can stay connected to the intention behind our business, the more it's gonna to flow towards us. So thank you very much, take care. And also make sure you check out my free guide, Six Smart Steps to Re-Energize Your Business. So if you're feeling a little stuck, feeling like things aren't working out, this free guide, it's an easy downloadable guide that you can, that will really start getting you brainstorming and thinking about how you can start to re-energize your business with some really, really easy things. So check that out at TeresaCantley.com and I will see you soon. Take care.